photo there. Another little cutie enjoying his first snowfall at Lulu Bell 12 ZZZ or ZZZ as we say here in Canada uh, sending this in to us and of course I have to say a big happy birthday to two grandparents that share a birthday. My grandmother turns 93 still lives on the farm and my friend Kayla her uh, Gigi is celebrating a birthday today as well. Don't have pictures for both of them, but uh, we'll work and see if we can get some in for the next hour. My grandma's not even up yet, so there you go. Carrie.smith at bellmedia.ca or send me a tweet at Carrie Smith CTV. Well, it really is great to see those pictures of people enjoying the colder weather in the mm -hmm. winter and getting out there and taking advantage of Absolutely. it. And of course, uh, Jason Manity, no stranger to viewers this morning. And we're going to talk ice fishing. And you've brought some pretty nifty gadgets with you today. Well, you know, we're a lot has evolved, Kayla, in terms of ice fishing. You don't have to be cold and freezing on the <laughs> ice anymore. Like we, there's been a revolution in like uh, shacks and heaters and electronics and one of the most cool innovations that really can help be helpful if you're introducing you know kids for example to fishing for the first time are underwater cameras they're they're a screen world you know for younger <laughs> folks and uh, you can see what's going on down below when you uh, try these things very cool yeah. very cool so this one uh, I don't know how complicated this looks we're kind of getting a an interesting look at our studio here oh that's that not, nobody needs you don't to be want that angle, that angle. Okay, nope. but let's not try that angle see. this morning <laughs> i'll just point it over at the camera guys uh tell us a little <laughs> bit about uh what what you've brought here and is this easy for everyone if you just get out a, a couple times just recreationally or is this for the hardcore i'm going to catch something huge well you know it it it's for both really like the, as as i was mentioning before what's really neat is that like on ice you, you one of the few times pretty much the only time of the year where you're stationary and you're not moving like in a boat you're always moving around you can actually cut your hole hover right on top of fish see what they're doing and the trick is and we're so, sort of showing some video now is lots of times you'll see fish on uh, electronics like a fish finder that just sort of shows lights on a screen but you don't really know what's going on down there. When you put the camera down, you can see exactly what's going on. You can see a fish actually put that bait in its <laughs> mouth. And, uh, you know, when you've ice fished before, if you're wiggling, you can't really feel a bite. You can set the hook when you see that hook in the fish's mouth. Oh. So that's what makes it so cool. Quite sneaky. And yeah. when, uh, I know this is a question that a lot of people are thinking of, uh, when you first get out there, uh, where do you set up? How do you know the best place to set up? Well, um, you know, over the years, if you go out like, every day like I can when I have time <laughs> off. Um, you sort of have your GPS spots, uh, which is also another revolution that we could talk about another day, but you just drill a bunch of holes basically. Once you find some fish, if you catch one or two, but you still think there's fish there, then you sort of set up camp, set up your shack, and really see what's going on down there with the underwater camera. Yeah. Absolutely love that, and, and who wouldn't love a piece of equipment this nifty and this helpful uh, cost-wise? How much of an investment are we looking at with one of these puppies? Well, uh, this is kind of, uh, I, I should say, a more upper-level model just because it has a really cool feature on it. It's got this record button, so you can actually see what's going on down below. So I'm recording this footage right now, uh, and you can play it back, uh, email it to your friends, you know, put it on your computer. It's a higher grade model. This one's about closer to $700 because of that feature, because it's smaller, because it's portable. The bigger machines that don't have those extra features, don't have color, that type of thing, are down around $250, so that's more your base model. And I would suggest people start with that and just kind of get used to that and see if they like it. And also, getting up to $1,000, you have them as a fish finder, fish wow. camera combo, and also HD heads, et cetera, et cetera, for all the nerdy types like <laughs> me out there. You know, that's where the price point starts to increase. So many different options. I feel like this could be a whole show on its own. Uh, unfortunately, we are all a lot of time this morning, but I do want to thank you so much for dropping by this morning and giving us some great tips and showing off some very uh, unique technology at some unflattering angles of myself. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, sorry about that <laughs> quick angle, and I just also wanted to mention to folks, we'll be talking a lot more about this at Cabela's in Regina tomorrow at one o'clock as well. We'll Perfect. still get kind of the, a little bit more of a crash course than I gave you this morning on well, Saturday. There you have it, thank you so much. Thank you.